All right, so Godzilla woke up. Then we got this old man walking down, going to his granddaughter, going like, oh God, Nami, you were right. Because apparently she had a prophecy about a monster coming to burn the world and shit. So you got him sitting up there going like, King Seesaw, help us, help us. Then his granddaughter, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, look at the freaking disgusting look she gives her grandpa, bro. Like, <laughs> why does she look like that, man? All right, then after that, you got Godzilla just walking around and everything, and I'm not going to lie. So he's still, so you see this building, right? I'm not going to lie. Of, of course, you know, he's a monster. He's going to go ahead and just smash the building, but why? Like, I look at this scene and just think, like, bro was stomping on this building, like, as if Le Captain Levi was stomping on Aaron's face during that court session. Like, like, bro, is you good? You really thought this man was Aaron Yeager for a minute, and he just stop, fucking stops the shit out the building. And then, and then afterward, bro just sits up there, he roars. He's all like, yeah, fuck that building. <laughs> like, bro, like, are you okay? Like, he, he, he stomped the fuck out this building like as if the building done something to him. Like... Like, dude, it was only one building, and you sat there and went all, all aggressive for nothing. Like, come on, bro. After Godzilla's done beating up the building, he sits up there, he continues his journey. But then afterwards, you start to see something coming out the ground. And I'm not going to lie. As a kid, I was very curious. I was wondering, oh, which monster coming to fight the king of all monsters, you know? And, you know, after Godzilla sits up there and steps on the damn thing, he sits up there having a bust his ass moment. Freaking guess who appears? It's his best friend, Angiris. And I'm not gonna lie. So when I saw this part, I was all like, oh, okay, so Angiris is coming. So are they gonna have a fight or is there an enemy they gotta fight, right? So, you know, my boy Angiris, he jumps on Godzilla. So I'm thinking like, maybe that's just how they greet each other. Pfft, no, boy, was I wrong. This man Godzilla kicks this boy out the sky heaven. Like, bro, what the fuck? That's your homie. Like, no, I'm not going to lie. Freaking Godzilla did Angiris wrong. He did God Godzilla did Angiris like freaking Thorkel did to to freaking Thorfinn, bro. Sent that man to Valhalla. And no, then you got this one scene where it's the dude up in the car. He's sitting up there driving. He realizes, he also realized something's wrong. He's like, hey, Angiris, Angiris should never attack his best boy Godzilla. Hey, something ain't right. And I'm sitting up here thinking, you ain't wrong, buddy. Something is wrong. I don't know what is going on, but that don't seem like the Godzilla that I know. So Godzilla and Gears get to fighting, and I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> and Gears sit up there, he just jump on Godzilla going like, man, I ain't gonna take this fucking ass whooping. Sits up there, he scrapes him against his spikes and everything. Then this is when I start to realize I knew I was right. That was not Godzilla. This is an imposter. Because after Angiris hits him with his spikes, you start to see a shiny metal area. And I'm not gonna lie. I think that's when my boy and Garrett started to realize something was up because he sat up there. He looked, he's like, you're not Godzilla. And I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Bro, I know they had to had to get this reference from Dragon Ball Z because the way how this man Godzilla was ready to scrap. Bro pulled that perfect cell technique pose. He sat up there. He said, huh, I'm perfect self in this bitch. And he's like, let's go. Watch out. So these guys start to fight and everything. And I'm not gonna lie, they fighting, and I'm not gonna lie, and Gears is getting his ass whooped. Like, this man grabbed him by the tail and said, God, I got you, bitch, and just kept throwing him down over and over and over again. <laughs> and then Godzilla stopped, bro. Oh my God, I'm not gonna lie. This is probably the most disrespectful thing I've ever seen in, like, kaiju history, because Godzilla stops throwing it up in the air, and he sits up there, he dusts himself off, and goes back and throws this nigga down, up and down again. <laughs> like, no, what the fuck, bro? Like, that's so actually generally disrespectful. Bro literally took a pause, dust himself up just to throw him some more. Like, bro, did you think this? I think Godzilla thought he was moderate for a second, sitting up here dusting himself off from petty ass attacks. Like, uh uh, that is so, bro, that is so. <laughs> Oh, Lord, I can't even speak on how disrespectful that is, bro. That is just a whole new level of low blow right there, man. Like, oh, my God. But you thought that was bad? This man, Godzilla, picks him up by the head, grabs him by the jaws, and starts opening his mouth till he starts bleeding. Like, no. Like, bro, I, I want y'all to hear 
how this man Angiris sounded after he freaking got his mouth torn open. Like, bro, this man Godzilla thought he was King Kong for a minute. But no, that was just so damn bad, man. Like, my boy and Gary sat up there, got the got the freaking step in, and just sat up there and passed out to the side. Then Godzilla just sit up there roaring victory and then just continues on his journey like nothing happened. Like, oh my god, man, what the hell? That's just some downright disrespectful shit.